Good evening. I'm Dan Rather, reporting from CBS News World Headquarters in New York. And thank you for allowing me to be with you. I'm pleased to appear before the Madison Chamber of Commerce annual dinner. While we here are monitoring results of the New Hampshire primary tonight, you have gathered to honor an outstanding broadcast operation. When you get home later this evening, you will probably tune to WISC-TV to see who won in New Hampshire and why and what it means. Viewing Channel 3 has become a tradition in your city, a tradition that began in the mid-50s when the station first signed on the air. Here's Mark Kane of News 3 to begin our journey through the past and into the future. The Chamber is honoring WISC-TV on its 40th year of broadcasting in Madison. One can't help but think of what it must have been like in those beginning days of broadcasting to southern Wisconsin. Some of you may have been there at the time and shared the moment when Channel 3 first appeared on those early primitive sets. Who could have imagined at the time where we'd be today with pocket TVs, satellites in space, hundreds of cable channels, and on and on. Imagine for a moment the pioneering spirit of those who started the first television stations. They were true pioneers with the spirit that drove them. What is a pioneer? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind are those wagon wheel ruts across the plains of Nebraska. Or maybe images of Lewis and Clark blazing the trail across the never-before-seen frontier. Our own generation relates to a new frontier, the space program. Hollywood's recent depiction of the Apollo 13 mission returns us to those heady days when current-day pioneers took off on their own journey. Is it about such an event that reaches down into each of us and makes us tingle or gives us goosebumps and can bring tears into our eyes? Yes, sir. We have to land the tower in 13, 13. I think it's that pioneer okay, spirit. Yeah, yeah. It's something we realize we are all a part of. We realize that that launch came about through all of our hard work. It's the pride of accomplishment of a job well done, and that those men riding on top might as well have been the guy next door or the one we went to school with. We as a nation, a community, will find all of our hopes and fears and dreams are won during events like these, shared through the wonders of television. We just have a report from our correspondent, Dan, rather in Dallas, that he has confirmed that President Kennedy is dead. We have some additional film taken at and near Parkland Hospital, where President John Kennedy died. The students fell back over a hill, answering the guardsmen with rocks. Suddenly, from over the hill, there was rifle fire. Challenger, go and throttle up. War has begun in the Middle East. Two men from the planet Earth Our screens are not filled every day with the soaring accomplishments of people like Dan Jansen. Often the scenes are more commonplace. This youngster is blazing her own trail into the future. The pioneering spirit surrounds us more than we probably realize. No matter what the event, that spirit can join us all together. It can give us direction to move on, and it can inspire. Think back to 1956, when this man, another pioneer with that pioneer spirit, Morgan Murphy, flipped the switch on June 24th that set WISC-TV on its journey into the future, a journey that includes all of you in Madison. It was here in this metal Quonset hut on Madison's west side that WISC first signed on the air at 6 p.m. 
With a small band of engineers, sales staff, and a news anchor that couldn't hear himself when hail or heavy rain pounded on the steel roof, Channel 3 was on its way. A year later, the station moved to this site on Hammersley Road in 1957. Some of you may have been to the studio as a child, as I did, and appeared on Circus 3 with Cowboy Eddie. In 1980, WISC moved again to the state-of-the-art facility on Raymond Road. This is our home, and we call it home because there truly is a family atmosphere here, one that translates into our efforts to make this a better community for all of us. The Time for Kids campaign focuses on the needs and concerns of our children through locally produced half-hour documentaries, public service announcements, vignettes, and news coverage, WISC TV3 and sponsors Dean Medical Center, Famous Footwear, and Oscar Mayer offer viewers an in-depth analysis and perspective on issues affecting children in our community. In our urge to provide the best for our children, are we as... Together with the March of Dimes, we use the power of television to get the word out during Healthy Baby Month on improving chances for having a healthy baby. We also invite 100 area teens to share their thoughts and opinions on healthy lifestyles at the annual March of Dimes Youth Conference. Each March, you help us raise tens of thousands of dollars for Easter Seals activities in our area. And if you'll call now, I will match your pledge. Our phones really get going. Pray, pray, make me squirm, make me sweat. In May, WISC-TV works with the Madison chapter of the Wisconsin Restaurant Association and the Madison Junior Women's Club. We raise funds to benefit area food pantries, meal sites, and emergency food programs. During the past 10 years, you've helped us collect over 90,000 coats, as well as tens of thousands of mittens and caps for children and families in need. WISC-TV, Clinky Cleaners, and the Community Action Coalition join together for the Coats for Kids Coat Drive. To keep warm on chilly Saturday mornings, many of you have joined us at Coffee on the Square. It's become a tradition, along with the rest of the goings-on at the Farmer's Market. Two projects bring local television into the schools. First, News 3's Cheryl Schubert takes the Middleton-based Knowledge Unlimited News Currents Film Strip and Study Guide into classrooms to discuss current events with students. Where would you come up with $29.5 million for the Madison School District? You would have to... Um really big bake sale. And WISC-TV, American Family Insurance, and the American Lung Association work together on an anti-smoking campaign called Don't Start. This contest encourages first through sixth graders to use their writing and art skills to convey their no smoking messages. The winning entry is then translated into a TV commercial which features the young award recipient. <laughs> We the People, Wisconsin takes issues directly to the citizens. Working this past year with Wisconsin Public Television and Radio, the Wisconsin State Journal, and Wood Communications, we've explored the governor's budget, land use, the state Supreme Court, and juvenile crime. In conjunction with Big Brothers Big Sisters, WISC-TV and John Karcher have helped Dane County young people find a big brother or sister. And they have a bit of fun at the same time. I'm gonna go down here. I'm not sure if you are, old codger. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Nate had it all down. The moguls, the turns, and cutting me off. Oh. Oh. What'd I do? Oh. This is a WISC editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. Part of our mission at WISC is to provide progressive leadership in all aspects of news gathering and reporting, giving the viewers perspective to help them make decisions and formulate opinions, hence editorials. Since 1992, WISC has sought to provide perspective, encourage debate and participation in civic life, and at times, persuade viewers to a point of view station management endorses. The reason is simple. Like all of you, we're not just a business operating in isolation. We're part of the communities we serve. We live here. Our kids go to school here. We play softball here, go to church here, shop here. We care about what goes on. Do we hear from viewers about our editorials? You bet we do. We've gotten some folks pretty riled up, and we believe actively involved in issues we've raised. More importantly, perhaps, we've supported some of the marvelous accomplishments and dreams of the remarkable people living in the greater Madison community. It's that bond Mark mentioned earlier, 
a bond that we've encouraged through our community leader citizen breakfast and our WISC town hall meetings, where hundreds of people have told us what issues they face in their lives and how we can better reflect those concerns in our programming and news coverage and public affairs efforts. The most visible element of any television station is its news operation, and News 3 continues to be the major force in WISC-TV's goal to serve Southern Wisconsin. Each day, beginning with News 3 this morning, through the noon broadcast to Live at 5 and News 3 at 6 and 10, a dedicated staff does what it does best, taking us to the events that shape our community and our individual lives. There is nothing like live television. This is the ultimate in bringing you a live news event itself, a satellite news vehicle. WISC acquired News Star 3 in December of 1994. It left almost immediately for Pasadena and the Rose Bowl. Since then, it's been to Washington, D.C., the Hall of Fame Bowl in Florida, Branson, Door County, Bayfield, and the list will continue to grow because we can go live virtually anywhere in the country. It can add to the stories and images from our own backyard. Those events can be big or small, but each of them reflects who we are and where we're going. The pictures on television are a mirror of ourselves. We share our victories and defeats, our goals and aspirations, our values. And through this process, we're all joined together with one another in a tighter bond. This is Jerry Dean, just into the Channel 3 newsroom. Authorities have just released the name of the researcher killed overnight in the Sterling Hall bombing. Uh, I am standing in what used to be just about the middle of the tiny uh, community of Barneville. Not and at about a quarter to one, they heard gunshots ring out in the vicinity of the sheriff's department. Then the walls come tumbling down. National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning effect. John, I'm joining you live from what was David Swenson's kitchen. The body located in Iowa County is Ronnie Eichstead. WISC-TV has taken you on quite a ride so far, and it's just the beginning. Think back 40 years. Who could have guessed what television was to become? 
Ebedar Morrow once described television as having the ability to teach, illuminate, and even inspire. But Morrow also warned that it would take people to use television to those ends. Otherwise, he said, television is merely wires and lights in a box. As we enter the next century in what is certain to be an ultra high-tech world, it will take a new generation of pioneers to harness the technology of high-definition television, video dial tones, and narrow casting. Have you ever thought what it would be like to bring back some of those early pioneers and show them the world as we know it today? Lewis and Clark, take a look at the interstate highway system. Hey, Curly Lambeau, what do you think of Reggie and Brett? Morgan Murphy, look where television and your station have come. Better yet, look where they are headed. Those of you gathered here tonight are the new pioneers. You will take Madison and Dane County into the future. WISC-TV will be there to help, to inform, to guide, and share the moments. Believe me, you, it's going to be quite a trip. Thank you, and good evening. Mm -hmm.